It's another time, another place in New Mexico. We're spending a few more days on the basin here, uh, kind of exploring the local neighborhoods and all the different cactuses around. Um, there's a lot, it's beautiful. Then we're gonna head up the mountains. I'm gonna show you one of the best free campsites I have ever come across. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So if you're ever thinking of spending six months or three months somewhere and you don't want to pay for it, if you volunteer for the BLM to run a campsite, this is the free yard you get. Bordered with a rock wall, nice little gate. Uh, it does say private residence so nobody comes in here. It's got little gardens around there and uh, your dogs can kind of have the run of the place. The people who live here are really nice. Um, funny story. The guy used to steer uh, ICBM, so Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. Um, yeah. And he actually got moved off of that because he was playing around with his uh, computer and aimed up on Moscow and found out that his boss was watching at the time. Nevertheless, this is uh, the free residence that comes with volunteering here. You also get satellite and propane free and a monthly stipend. Let's head up into the mountains, show you a different campsite that is completely free for anyone. Hello dreamer, you've been dreaming for so long.
After a couple days going through the mountains, playing with river and walking and doing a lot of mountain biking, I found this campsite. Um, there's a forest road right here. There's a fork right here too, which means it splits into two forest roads. That allows me a couple different options as far as backing the trailer out of here, turn around space if it decides to dump a bunch of snow while I'm up here. One reason why I picked it. The other reason is rattlesnakes are a big deal around here and this is all cleared. Pretty much cleared. So if I let River out of the camper in the morning or whatever and I'm not with him, I don't have to worry too much. Um, yeah. And then it also gives Cricket, you know, a good half acre here to run around without actually missing into the grass. So I like it like that. I prefer to have it where I can actually see her without getting on top of the camper and looking down for a big white spot. Although, to be fair, River is doing a really good job of finding her when she's out. Um, I actually locked her out the other day and he threw a fit and ran out and I, she must have been out for a good couple hours too. And he ran out, ran way into the desert with his little flashlight on his on his head so you could just see this little flash running through the desert. And I ran out there thinking he was attacking something. And on my way out there with the flashlight, I see my cat go by me at 100 miles an hour towards the door. There's River right now, I'm trying to come out. So, or there's Cricket right now, thinking about coming out. So he chased her towards the RV and then I grabbed him because I, I honestly, I feel like he would tear her apart if they were outside running. Um, and then Cricket finally ran back inside, but I did not know she was out there, had no clue. So. this place home for a little over a week now it's gorgeous a little over 8,000 feet I mean I mean yeah and if you if you wake up to that through your windows with the snow coming down oh it's just gorgeous so they have these sun tracker 
apps. And I didn't, I didn't like the one that I used, so I'm not going to tell you the name of it. But essentially, if you're going to use solar panels, you should download one. Because it will tell you where you're at. You put the date in, and it, you put your phone up, and you run it along. Okay, he, he's in the mountains, right? And it tells me, it told me when I came to this campsite that at like 9 o'clock in the morning, I was going to break that tree. And it was going to go up above both peaks of the mountains and stay up above everything here. And then it was going to go and be down in the mountains right here at, you know, what time it is now, which is about, it's about to happen. So I'm going to end up with about eight and a half hours of sunlight. And I've been driving up and down this dirt road looking for spots with no snow to try to figure this out. I mean, basically, you could do it that way. I'm, look at this. See snow. No snow here. No snow up anywhere in the mountain here. Up the mountain over there, no snow. But then you look on the south side, it's all, a, you know, six inches deep, foot deep. On the other side of the creek, it's a foot deep. So you could just, you can look at this campsite right here and figure out, oh, this is a good one. And if you, I don't know if you watched last week or not, but if you did, the campsite I was looking at up the road up here, about three miles, was all snow. This tracker allowed me to put this together. My little creek kind of froze. Anywhere it's moving, it's not frozen, but anywhere it's still on these little waterfalls here. Oh yeah, one, two, three little waterfalls. Everywhere I camp, there's three waterfalls along the creeks or rivers. That's pretty cool. Trace. Um, got down to about 20, 22 degrees last night. We had a cold front come through. But look at the mountain. My uh, my water didn't freeze. Nothing froze. So the heaters all worked. In theory, if it was to stay 20 degrees all day and all night for three days, my water would freeze is what I was told. So... Good thing it's gonna warm up today. It's gonna get above 30. So I spent like four hours today um, looking through my binoculars glassing the different mountains here. The, the way a mountain is set up like this, where it goes all the way up, um, it gives you so much land that you can actually look at. And it's just, it's gorgeous. Are you hyped or something? Yeah, you could just hours go by just watching nature do its thing. Hours and hours. I'm really loving these white pines. I used to uh, deliver them. They're like 800 pounds a piece. Uh, they sucked to move around and to put into someone's yard, but they're gorgeous when they're out in the wild and they put themselves there. <laughs> you can put your effort into it. So. Yeah, I'm going to take off tomorrow. This is going to be my last night here. Um, making some pork chops with river. Um, I'm going to start heading towards Arizona. I think I'm actually going to maybe stop off at the White Sands National Park. Get some pictures of that and uh, maybe spend half the day there tomorrow. Um, we'll see. We'll see how busy it is. It's a Sunday, so... We'll see. New Mexico is amazing. Thanks again to my co-stars. And please put a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Share with a friend would be really appreciative. And comment. Anything, uh, anything you do will help me out with the YouTube guides. Appreciate it. Just spend another time, another place in New Mexico. I will see you next time from... Arizona. I think I'm actually going to stay in an RV park, so we might get to see a little shot of this. My horse and buggy that I'm pulling around with my house here, uh, parked next to some half a million dollar RVs. We'll see.
Thanks a lot, you guys. Talk to you later. Living free.